Good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video where I'm going to show you how we can trade for the high impact news and how we can prepare for them using the pending orders. Uh, but before that, of course, I need to show you the results of the premium group signals. It's doing really very well. As I promised you earlier, the signals have been improved to a better system. Now Angela is using that system with the signals and we can see the results. They have been improved really very well. This is from the premium group. If we go even to the free group where we are sending one signal per day, this was the signal Angela sent to sell uh, the GPP CAD. And later on, this is the result. Uh, hit take profit three with 140 pips profit in short time. That was free for everyone in the free channel. And I'm really happy to see what the clients uh, staying after investing in that trade. Uh, there is a lot of good feedback we have received so far and Angela have posted them in the free channel. We can see one of them saying, hi Angela, just wanted to give you feedback. I'm really doing well with your signals. Uh, this guy here, he just sent a message today, uh, 31 July, invested with you $150 and after three days, I have $370. Even Angela was impressed. So not only he already recovered the fees for the premium group, but he also made so far really good profit. And for that, I'm really very proud and very happy to see the results. It's doing very well. And hopefully it will be good like that forever. Uh, please don't forget, my friends, that if you wish to, to join the premium group to the signals, Please contact Angela, you can find her details in the description of the video. Contact her today so you can join the signals uh, quickly. See you there, my friends, and hopefully everyone will be happy as these clients are. So my friends, now let's go to the news and let me show you first for the beginners how to identify the high impact news and how to handle them. Uh, first of all, you need to go to this website, forexfactory.com. I will put the link in the description as well. And the first thing you need to do before you even check for the calendar or the news, you need to check the timing. Look at this time. It's 9.37 p.m. right here in Dubai where I live. Uh, first thing you need to do when you open the website for the first time is click on this one. Click on the time and just select your current uh, or local country. Uh, I live in Dubai, so I will just keep it as it is. Uh, DST is for the winter and summer time. We don't have that here in Dubai and save settings just select your uh, local country time just to be sure that it is uh, on the right settings now we need to look at these news these are the upcoming news for this week so for example right now we can see this green arrow indicating that the next news the upcoming news is for the usd the foamc statement and usually these are making high impact in news on the market these are what I'm planning to trade right now, especially this one, federal rate, uh, funds rate. Uh, if it was really bad or lower than the previous uh, st uh, statement, that is going to affect the dollar. And I'm going to be sure to catch all the possible uh, 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 profit uh, from that trade. Uh, we can see that Thursday tomorrow, we are going to have uh, 3 p.m. my local time, some really good... Uh, high impact in news on the pound. Now, how do we know these are high impact in news? Because we can see here we have red color on this square or this mark. It means that this is a high impact in news. Uh, of course, uh, the orange meaning medium impact in news. The yellow is usually nothing. It is very low impact in news. Now, what you need to do is just focus on the red ones, but not all of them, of course. There are some news that doesn't really make any, any impact on, on the market, uh, such as, for example, this one, trimmed mean CPI. It doesn't really usually make that impact on the market. CPI, however, it does. Uh, PMIs does, yes. Uh, business confidence, it depends on the news itself, but usually it doesn't really make that impact. Um, ma the measures, let me tell you. The measures are NFP, which is known as non-farm payroll. Uh, the, the, the next one is unemployment, unemployment rate for US or CAD. Usually these are making really a lot of impact. Uh, the one we are checking right now, FOMC, 
or the federal rate uh, what else uh, let me check it's gonna happen actually this Friday 4 30 p.m. Uh, we can see in my timing there is the non-farm payroll and unemployment rate for the USD as well I'm telling you check uh, USD uh, 4 30 p.m. Dubai time 12 30 GMT time the bound oh sorry the USD is gonna jump that like crazy you will notice that the USD will be crazy and you better not uh, not trade it unless you are trading the news but if you are stuck in a trade since uh, before you I highly advise you to close it before the news uh, uh, come ahead so these are the news we are really focusing on I, I believe that I forgot something but I'm not sure which one I feel I forgot one of them anyway uh, the most important things is these the first two NFP non-farm payroll and unemployment rate for the US or the CAD these two are the, the major ones we are focusing on now however let's focus on what's coming right now what's coming right now is this one at 10 10 30 uh, what I want to catch is this one about uh, 10 p.m. the federal rate as federal funds rate that is what I'm planning to catch right now it is 943 still we have 50, almost uh, 17 minutes ahead let's go to the meta trader and let me show you what I'm going to do uh, and how, to, how how I'm going to trade this in news first of all let me just change uh, the lot size it's too much now um, make it 40 45 okay yeah now what is my style let me explain to you my style now trading the news is really risky because you actually have the risk of losing or blowing your account now just let me explain to you in a brief what I'm doing for example I have one thousand three hundred dollars and I'm planning to trade that for the whole week so what I do instead of using the the whole or um, instead of using the amount $1,300 what I did is simply open a new live account in IC markets and I put only $230 in that account and I traded it to make it 236 but what I did is just investing $230 in uh, that live account now what is the idea the idea is I'm going to risk only this money $230 I'm going all in with this amount and if I lose I lose only this amount I don't lose uh, the $1,300 it is safe and that is my that is how I'm trading Forex just put the small amount and enter full lot if you if you make profit you make profit if you lose you just lose the small amount you have invested now I'm aware that this, there is a lot of traders are against this they don't agree with me and I don't want to tell you something bad I don't care I just don't care if they don't agree if they don't like it if they think that I'm a noob trader or paper trader that's there that's up to them I know what I'm doing and that is how I've been making money from Forex for at least four years so far so the idea again is just invest the small amount that you are going to risk and I will explain now the reason now let me tell you how we can trade the news now let's first of all again go back check the news is gonna affect the for the USD so now we need to trade the euro USD is preferable to trade euro USD it is gonna be affected by this news you have to switch to the one hour uh, one hour time frame so right now I'm on the one hour click on a new order now let me tell you what to do now we need to change the, the lot size make sure it is uh, what you want and for the type you need to change it for pending order now we can see this uh, window has changed right now and what we need to do to do here today <laughs> what we need to do here is to select which one of them we need to use is it buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop uh, let me just explain to you the reason between these four quickly the buy limit <coughs> I'm sorry the buy limit meaning uh, to go against the direction when the candle is going down so for example uh, if I set here buy limit let me tell you if I set here buy limit on this level like that 
I set a buy limit here, so meaning the candle, once the candle reached this level, uh, a buy order will be uh, uh, triggered, and hopefully if the candle will go up, it will take me with it because I placed automatically a buy order. So this is like a pending order for buying, but you can place this only below the candle because you are hoping for the candle to go down, and once it's going down, you are expecting it to, for example, bounce on this support, and the buy order will be triggered, and it will take you with it. Uh, sell limit. Sell limit is the opposite. You can place that the trigger area only above the candle, so it will be only right here. You cannot put sell limit right here below the candle. It's not going to work. You can put the sell limit only above the candle. So once the candle will go here, a sell order will be opened and hopefully the market will reverse, for example, on this resistance and the candle will take you down with it with the profit. So in other words, sell limit and buy limit is activating uh, the order in the uh, opposite way of the candle. So if the candle going up and you have sell limit, at a sell order will be triggered and you hope for the market to go down. That is for example. However, buy stop. Buy stop is different. Buy stop, you cannot place the buy stop uh, below the candle. You can place it only above the candle. Buy stop is the opposite because it's not going to trade the, re the reversal. It's going to trade the continuation. So if you have here buy, st buy stop, meaning the buy order will be activated if the candle will reach this level and the market will take you along with it. So there is no reversal here. How, uh, st stop loss, sorry, stop, st stop, what did I say? Uh, sell limit, sorry, sell, sell, sell stop, sell stop. Forgive me guys, sorry. Sell stop can be replaced, did I? Man, sell, stop. I got confused. Okay, sell stop can be placed only below the candle. So if the market will go down, there is no reversal. Just activate a sell order and take me along with you. That is the difference between uh, buy, or sorry, buy, uh, between uh, limit and stop. The limit is for the reversals. The stop is for the continu continuation. So let's go back to the subject. What I'm going to do right now, let me tell you. Now, what will gonna happen after 10 minutes, because now it's 9.50 and the news is gonna be triggered at 10, 10 p.m. What we need to do is just simply click on buy stop and increase the value. Just like that and click place. Now we can see the buy stop has been placed right here. Now what you will do is now place another order, go to new order, again, pending order. Now this time go to sell stop and just click on this one to make it go down and place. Right that. Now this is the right thing. Now we have one buy stop order and another stop uh, buy stop order and buy another sell stop order. So what will gonna happen? If the market will go up, it will take me with it. A buy order will be activated and it will take me along with it with the profit. If the market, however, go down, a sell order will be triggered and it will take me along with it in profit. However, it does sound really cool. It does sound really profitable, but it is really dangerous. It's very risky and not easy. And it's very, very possible that you might lose in the first time because let me explain to you what will happen sometimes the news can be really bad like really really bad or uh, they might take some time to find to finalize their decision maybe what will gonna happen is the candle will be jumping up and down crazy now what will gonna happen that time the spread you look at that you see that the spread the spread during the high impact news with any broker, they increase it. So the, the spread right now for the EURUSD, it is zero. But at the time of the, of the high impact news, it will be increased. It will be like five or six uh, pips maybe. Now, what does that mean? Meaning if the candle, now we can see that I have my sell stop right here. 
right? But if the, if you have high spread, maybe the candle will just reach this level right here, and because of the spread, six pips away, the trade will be activated. Exactly, six pips, man, I'm good. So yeah, six pips away, right here, and the trade will be activated. What will gonna happen if the market just come here right, like that, making a zigzag move because of the high impact news, and then it will shoot up? You will be now you will lose. You will wipe your account in this case because that the sell stop has been triggered because of the difference in the spread. So did you get the point, guys? I hope you get it. Let me explain again uh, in, the, uh, the, in the buy order. For example, the market go up like that. At, at the time of the high impact news, this candle will be going crazy before it just finally shoot up or shoot down. So when it goes crazy like that, maybe it will touch the buy order and it might touch it because the spread will be high so if it is six pips the spread meaning that the trade will be activated right here even though if you have your buy stop right here still the trade will be triggered or activated on this level again because of the spread so let's say the market go down here uh, sorry go up here and the trade has been activated with the buy but later on, you see the market, boom, falling down like that. You will lose because the, your, your account will be wiped and it's not going to help you to act activate the sell uh, stop. That's why it's really risky and you need to practice. You need to try with a small amount like, for example, 50 or just $100 just to be safe if you are going with this on your live account for the first time. Now, see what's going to happen. I'm going to keep a safe distance between the current price and the stop orders which I'm having. Uh, right now, it is like 13 pips away from the sell stop and 14 pips away from the buy stop. I need to keep my eyes on this candle. So once it's going up or down, I will just like that. Keep, keep, tra keep track it, you know. So just make sure that I will be safe until the final moment happen when it uh, exactly 10 o'clock the candle will move in the direct in the uh, way I'm hoping for it to go for so now we have these two threads uh, going on let allow me to explain to you one thing here I don't want to make this video so long but I need to explain it what some people doing is they are setting stop loss on both of the dire uh, both directions what you can do for example modify and you can set a stop loss so for example, this is a buy stop, but set my stop loss right here, for example, uh, like that. So what will gonna happen is if the candle will go up and suddenly it will go down, as I explained now before, it will hit my stop loss. That is not really gonna help you. It happened to me before. Uh, it sounds good, but it doesn't really work because the candle, again, I'm telling you, it will really go up and down so crazy. It might go up, um, it will go right here, activate my buy stop. Then it might go down right here, activate the stop loss, and I will lose my money before it finally shoot and go more up. And then I will be just smashing my PC, cursing myself, cursing everything, cursing Forex, cursing whatever I can curse, just because I lost money for no reason, only because I have used stop loss. Yeah, stop loss is my sword enemy. I have no shame to say it in the public. I really had stop loss. I either, <laughs> I don't want to say blow the account. That's why I, I just want to uh, avoid using stop loss. F uh, everything is possible in Forex. You can think that you have lost the trade, but you are wrong. You might ha not have lost the trade. Just give it some time and see what will gonna happen. That's why I'm risking this amount. This is investment. I'm a trader, I'm investing money. So $236, I might lose them. Yes, poss possible perhaps, if something was really bad or really good. We need to wait to see what the news, what will gonna happen, how the candle will move, and I will show you in a few minutes what will gonna happen. So right now, it's 9.57 in about less than three minutes that uh, the news will be coming, and I will make sure to record for you what will gonna happen. So let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you in two minutes. Now, let me show you.
please pay attention to the spread my friends look at that look at the spread what's happening the market now is going crazy the spread is getting higher that is normal with any broker as you can as i have told you before uh, let me just now prepare now it's uh, i will keep the timing as well if i can no i cannot okay so just a few seconds look what's happening now the candle is moving up normal this is not normal move of the candle it's just keep moving up and down just wait for the last 10 seconds it will move like crazy and i need to track it make sure that it is not gonna uh, screw me up in the last uh, few seconds i will just keep adjusting the orders you can see how the candle now is moving and that is what's happening during the high impact news yes yes look at it 20 seconds away I hope it will make mo big movement and we will have good uh, profit look at the spread now it's becoming two pips and two pips is really nothing on IC markets that is really good for the euro USD I'm still very safe and I would think I will uh... okay now the news happened let's wait to see what will gonna happen look at the candle just watch the candle still it's not finalized yes and my sell order has been activated look at that now I'm making a lot of profit fantastic uh, let's see seven pips let me now disable the other pending order and activate just this one and that's it fine done 11 pips easy 11 pips has been made during this news and easy uh, I think 54 dollars have been made that is how you can trade the news don't keep your trade running for a long time yes you, the, you can see the candle is going down more and more I know you might tell me why did you rush to close it very quickly why didn't you keep it wait more man you can keep you can make a lot more money the experience has taught me that don't do that don't be greedy the only reason you will lose in Forex if you become greedy there was really a chance that it happened so many times when the market just reached the support level and then it will uh, uh, then the candle will breathe and go back up and I will just miss my profit it happened to me so many times that I'm pissed off already and that's why I'm really happy with the profit I have made look at that do you see what's happening that is what I'm talking about if you keep the trade running look at that the candle will be breathing and going up it depends on the news actually let's see what happened um, let's see what happened to the news was it good or bad <clears throat> uh, okay I think it was good maybe or it was as forecast yeah it was as the forecast it is normal so you look at that my friends you can see how the candle now is going up again it's pulling back that's why I just closed it with the profit that was possible to happen on this level where I closed my trade so anyway with a small account from 236 dollars to 290 that is great uh, now it's 10 p.m. I will uh, finish my trades for today it was quick uh, 50 dollars thank you for the USD let's wait for tomorrow the pound at 3 p.m. Dubai time and then the most important one is 4 30 p.m. Friday uh, the unemployment rate and the non fund payroll I believe this will be really profitable uh, trading for the news good the trades waiting for us my friends so anyway I really hope you guys have learned how to trade the news from this video I'm really sorry for the long video but it was really important to explain to you in detail how we can trade the news yes going more down I'm not pissed off don't worry I am I'm fine <laughs> as long as I have made my profit I'm okay so guys I hope that was inf informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.